students welcome to our class in electrical engineering cables how to draw the different types of cables okay cables have you seen the cables what are the purpose of the cables yes so we know that the main function of the cable is to transform the electrical energy one end to the another end that purpose we are going to use two types of the cables so those are the overhead cable oh cable that is the generally you already have seen ac sr cables aluminum conductor steel reinforced ea aaa can all aluminum conductors etc etc and sometimes if thickly populated area where it is not possible to erect overhead poles towers then we opt for underground cables another is the underground cables okay underground cables first of all you can see what is the uh, practically cables have you seen any time now you can see this is a uh, one cables recorded in our electrical workshop i think students will joint wires t joint western union joint pigtail joint here t joint is connected you can observe it is a cable the consist of three wires inside red color blue color and green color that may be or the phase neutral and ground single phase purpose and at the same time you can observe so that is a black wire also so that is a insulation material that is a lt purpose we can use now here you can see the hd cable for we can use up to the the nearly so high rating purpose aluminum conductors you can observe from the pssc pole to our college we taken with the help of the this cable so r phase y phase and b phase and it consists of another different type of layers you can see it okay at the same time it has a galvanized steel strips also provided servicing and so different in type of insulation materials also used okay this is a one good example you can observe in our laboratories okay so what are the purpose of this cable and how are the different types of cables generally used in our electrical engineering field you can see this is a one chart prepared by the our students different type of the electrical cables with a different wire gauges and different uh, conductors aluminum lead and uh, silver copper conductors etc etc so based on the current rating and based on the voltage rating as you know that once the voltage increases further and further the layers of insulation has to be increased for a cable if the current rating increases then we have to increase the cross sectional area of the conductor this is a basic things okay so that you can see dear students so these are the different type of the cables we come across in our electrical field okay so you can see here now i want to know the basic things of cables what are the different type of the cables if i have seen the cross sectional area and plan elevation you can see this is a acsr conductor generally you can observe in pcc poles and outside okay aluminum conductor steel reinforced 
and these are the uh, different type of the cables based on the LT and sometimes we can use the a different that also. You can see here this is a one ST cable, so for this 11 kV cable, so used in um, in Singarini areas, 30 up to 33 kV. You can see how this uh, big size cable, so three conductors, aluminum conductors placed inside three core cable and over which different layers of the insulation is provided. Okay, so these are the cables generally we can use in our laboratories. So that means, so we are going to learn, so what are the different, what are the cables, what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages, what are the different layers of the our cable that is based on the voltages and based on the different factors. Okay, if I know the basic things then we can easily uh, draw the this drawing in our subject. Okay, so these are the cables you can observe. Now oh, let us see. This is um, the cables. Okay, so here based on the our current rating, the size of the core material changes. Now you can see this is a one cable, this is another cable, this is a one wire, another wire, another wire, and center is another wire. Okay, that is a five core cables. Here four and a half gear cables. Here you can see the uh, three is the main and another is a small size. This is a three and a half core cables. So here what is happened? So if I opened, if a cross sectional takes place, so what are the uh, uh, different layers present in a cable? Okay, let us see. Here you can see one cable example here what you know, observe this is a uh, copper conductor here you can see the insulation okay so that insulation you can observe that is a polyethylene so insulation you can see here polyethylene insulation and over which another type of the insulation also provided the pvc inner sheet the sheath is the one material or and inside also you can see insulations, papers or something uh, materials, the SN materials may be filled. Okay, so here these are some different of the cables. You can see R phase, Y phase and B phase. Sometimes it may be neutral, three and a half core cable. Okay, so before going to draw this one, let us see some basics background. What is the cable first of all? What is the purpose of the cable? Let us see. Okay. So what is the cable? So as we know that the main function of the cable is to transform the electrical energy, whatever the generated in genetic station, whether it may be thermal power station, hydro power station, nuclear power station etc etc that power or energy has to be transmitted to the load center the load center's thickly populated area is the very away from the genetic stations due to the different factors so to transmit the whatever the energy generated in genetic station to the load centers we can transmit with the help of the two modes one is the overhead lines that is the by using poles steel towers where the low voltage from the 11 kV to 33 kV voltage generated in synchronous machines that has to be step up with the help of the PTRs power transformers in substation and that low voltage is step up, up to the 400 kV voltage, high voltage. That high voltage is transmitted through the overhead lines by using the ACSR conductors family. And that is transmitted to the a number of kilometers through rivers, forests and different places nearby 
receiving station nearby uh, city where this 400 kV voltage one second step down to 220 kV or 132 kV and from 132 kV further step down to the 33 kV and 11 kV from 11 kV which is used nearby our street where a DTRs plinth mounted or pole mounted substations it is stepped down to our required voltage 3 phase 400 volts and single phase 230 volts. So this what are the power is trans generated in generating station is transmitted through the overhead lines. Somewhere in forest or in case of the some in river or some thickly populated areas where so the atmosphere condition is not suited for the overhead lines heavy gale and um, winds towers may not be sustained at that condition at that condition we can preferred we have to transmit a small distance where we can observe in crossing of the railway tracks whether it is 11 kV or 33 kV you can observe there is a two poles ends either side of the track and one cable is digged under the track okay where it is not possible to use the overhead lines and thickly populated area uh, risky areas we can prefer our cables okay so these are the cables the cable consists of uh, different layers dear students you can observe one thing so from as we have seen from genetic station to a thickly populated load center we can transmit through our horrid lines okay over at lines where this is a one mode by using the OH line over at lines over at cables sometimes it is difficult to erect towers supports then we can transmit the same power by underground where this is the underground by using underground cable to this area this is known as the u underground cables what are the benefit of the underground cables comparing to the overhead lines first priority i will give to the overhead lines where it is not possible to erect transmit the energy with the help of the OH lines then I can prefer for the underground cables okay so what are the advantages now the underground cables having the advantages mainly simple advantages the rugged in construction rugged in construction but you can see how the construction of cable that is changing its construction also based on its voltage changes and greater service reliability so reliability is a very nice and safety so there is no touching to the trees or something something and less chances of falls that means suppose it is exposed to the atmospheric conditions then what will happen there is a possible to fall on the nearby tree branch or due to the heavy gale and wind there is a short circuit between the two faces etc etc but in case of underground cables there is no that's a type of the situations arised less chances of false 
next the low maintenance of cost here low maintenance cost no need to maintain change the insulators cross arms stay wires guarding etc etc and uh, enamel coating silver coating and the structures so very low maintenance cost and it is a better appearance so it is a going through the underground cables so no zigzag lines you can observe in thickly populated area nearby hyderabad one pole consists of nearly so 20 to 25 wires with cable wires telephone wires different type of wires okay it appearance is in overhead lines is not good but whereas in underground cables there is no appearance it is a very good appearance okay just like in already you have seen so concealed pvc conduit and the surface conduit just like you can see uh, the difference better uh, better appearance appearance and uh, less interference from the external disturbances that is also less so it is already placed in the underground cable why it is the interference with the atmosphere disturbances what are the external disturbances it may be like storms lightning and uh, ice tree branches falling etc etc so that means atmospheric effects may not be on the cables because the cables are underground these are the some advantages you can see what are the you can see this is a some external disturbances like storms lightning ice falling trees branch falling etc etc these are the overhead lines you can see it lightning there is a possible to occur here lightning is maybe takes place here so you can see the this is the external wind and and here you can see the normal structure poles lt poles due to the we require the struts is required stay wires is required sometimes there is a possible to heavy gale and wind there is a maybe possible to some leaning or some crossing the this poles sometimes there is a bro broke sometimes it breaks the this supports also whereas in the underground cables no need to this effects yes. what are the advantages of the cables the cables are the rugged constructions greater uh, surface reliability and safety less chances of falls low maintenance of the cost better appearance lesser interference from external disturbances like storms lightning or lightnings and trees even though it has some disadvantages what are the disadvantages disadvantages one it is a high initial cost initial cost is more because it required the uh, different type of materials and uh, maintenance is less but initial cost is uh, very very high and insulation problem increases insulation problem that means if voltage range increases from lt to ht to st to eht then the layers of insulation to be provided is a more and more then so what will happen the cost increases that is a one disadvantage at the same time the cables are placed near by near very this one there is a, it act as a capacitors one what is the capacitor capacitor is nothing but it is a two conducting plates the separated by the dielectric media here the insulation act as a dielectric media and r phase y phase is the two conductors so hence a large charging current may be here in the cables okay due to this in power system already we have seen so sending voltage is less than the receiving end voltage due to the cables that is a parentic effect so these are the main disadvantage of 
cables okay so that's why we, i preferred we preferred so wherever we required it is not possible to erect or red lines then we opt for a minimum length of this type of the cables okay so as the cables are performed so where it is important and the cables to use over red lines and for example in thickly populated areas so we are better to use these cables instead of placing over red lines okay so these are the some advantages and disadvantages of the cables now you can see this is a one simple uh, cable so what is a cable actually you can observe here our requirement is only this conductors this is one conductor this is another conductor this is another conductor through which our electrons will flows for this conductors we required so this external forces as required that means if i see the one political leader and around the political leader there is a, a z category protective system and the, their followers party leaders followers etc so it becomes a, a big system if leader capacity increases suppose minister then what will happen the security this security increases further similarly our cable also here what is a here the this simple person is nothing but our conductor to protect this simple person require the security is required okay so here the single person is our conductor for example this conductor and to protect this our best leader for example our modi so it require the a z category of security is required around him at the same time their party leaders main party leaders and around this one at the same time some bureaucrats and normal people so thereby what will happen so to enter towards the person is impossible to protect him this layers has to work perfect okay so similarly our this conductors through which our electrons has to flow in a predetermined direction we require the different of the insulating materials and supporting materials these are the materials okay so dear students cable is nothing but you can observe this similar analysis cable is in the thing what the conductor plus insulator insulator nothing that is a cable here the cable one or more conductors covered with suitable insulation and surrounded by the a protective cover okay so it is the one conductor this for example this is a copper conductor so this is a conductor at the same time it has to protected with the help of some insulating materials insulating materials and the insulation material has to be protected from the atmospheric conduction some more insulating materials this is the cable one or more conductors covered with a suitable insulation and surrounded by the a protective cover so you can see here the cover so for example you take the one copper conductor you take the for example this is a copper conductor so this is a standard stand some copper conductors so placed here and over which we require the some insulating material so generally you can see the some insulating material so blue can take insulating material through which we are going to use it insulating material insulating material 
and here to protect this insulating material so we require the another layer also for example you can see another layer the servicing or protective layer you can see this is the another layer So you can see them. This is a cable. Okay. Now you can see what is this one mainly. So this is a this is a our standard conductors, the copper or aluminum conductors. This is a insulation, PVC insulation or paper type insulation or impregnated insulation, different of the insulation materials and a servicing that is a, it can protect from the atmospheric conditions, sun, daytime sun, rain, different places. So every cable consists of one conductor and over which the insulation and if required there is a, some protective cover also provided okay this is a cable now if the coppers the conductors may be uh, standard conductors for the flexible purpose insulation maybe we can use the common insulation generally what are the common insulation insulators generally used is a impregnated papers varnish coating papers Sometimes we can use a cambric or rubber mineral compounds materials and these different type of the insulation materials used based on the cost, based on the voltage, based on the current rating. At the same time they will take consider the, the type of uh, insulations also class B type, class A type, class E type. So as we know that insulators are classified based on the temperature. For example, class B insulators, it can be stand up to the 1 to 2 degrees already you study in first year level. Okay. So based on the current, the temperature raised, based on the current carrying capacity, based on the voltage range, this will change. Dear students, only you can observe the air. So for example, here is a myself. Okay. Here is myself. In summer, I wear only one shirt and one pant and something. Suppose in winter, what will happen? So I can use my the, some shutters and gloves and if the cold is more, I can use the jerkin also. Okay. Then if it is worse, I can use the blanket. Sometimes I can use the shallow. So different layers of the cloth materials I am going to use to protect from the cold. If the cold is more, I can use the more and more layers of the cloths. See here also, if the voltage increases, I have to use more layers of insulators, insulation materials. Okay. So whereas in LT, so there is only one conductor and uh, insulating material is enough for in case of the HD cables we require the so more layers of sheathing is required and bedding is required armoring is required servicing is required different type of the layers also be required we will see later okay so this is the basic concept dear students so one should you have to remember as electrical students the cable any cable you can see so cable current current increases then its cross section of the conductor value increases cross section of the conductor increases if voltage increases voltage increases then the insulation material to be increased insulation to be increased that means more number of layers of the insulation has to be increased if the voltage increases. 
if the current value increases the cross section of the conductor should be increased these are the basic things dear students okay so based on these two factors whether you are going to use the the cables the whether is a EHT cables or HT cables and LT cables, whether it is the H type cables, SLT type cables, so different type of the cables also come across in our electrical field. Let us see the basic things. Let us see what are the different of the classification of cables. Okay, so now classification of cables. of underground cables underground cables now the cables are classified cables are classified based on the different factors let us first factor is the number of conductors so what are the cable consist you can see this is the number of conductors now so this is the one standard conductors or is insulation next another kind of, for example this is a phase neutral also were required so i require the neutral also so there is a another conductor this is a phase this is the neutral based on the number of conductors okay so here the based on the number of conductors number of conductors so it's further classified so based on the number of conductors classified one is the single core cable single core that means here the kind what are the the only these conductors and over which there is insulation single conductors the this is the insulation material and two core two core second one is the two core cables here what is happen here is a for example or face for example and this is the insulating material and here is a neutral and this is the insulating material okay now over which there is a another insulating material provided just like you can observe in service wire which is taken from the nearby our PACC pole to our house. So this are one core, second core. That's why the two core cables. You can see this the two core cables. So that means one we can use them. Suppose in case of the DC plus and minus two core. Here is a only one. So if the core number of cores increases, so we are going to classify it into three core. For example, in case of the three core. If you are observed in an iron box cable, here what will happen? One is the phase, okay? One is the phase, and is the neutral, and another is the earth. You can observe it. Three cables. So it is consists of the common cable, this one. So each consists of further insulation. Yeah. So, 1, 2, 3, it is known as a 3 core cables. You can observe the, uh, sub, in case of the immersion heaters and iron box, you can this type of the cables generally used. Okay, in uh, HT also we can use the R phase, Y phase, neutral. Okay, suppose if increase further another core, so where we can use the 4 core cable. So, where we can use some four cables for example this is the r phase conductor this is a y phase conductor this is a b phase conductor and here is a neutral conductor so the r phase y phase b phase neutral four care cables so here is the insulation separate this insulation separate this insulation separate the insulation separate okay over which this is a another common cable so this is a one core two three four so, such a cable is known as the four core cables. So, the number of conductors. 
so first conductor second conductor third conductor fourth conductor is separated with the insulating materials okay so only this i1 current i2 current i3 current will flows no interconnected inside the cables so this type of the cables are classified based on the number of conductors okay clear now if the conductors increases so conductors means whether it's a single conductor or standard conductors generally a standard conductors are used for the uh, easy uh, uh, flexible purpose now so another factor the cables further classified based on the another factor is the voltages you can see based on the voltage so what are the different of the voltages as you know that the voltage is the first one is the lt voltage low tension voltage this voltage up to 1k 1000 volts kv okay next another voltage is the hd high tension cables so that may be so up to 11 kv so 1000 this 1 kv to 1000 volts to and 11 kv up to 11 kv and super tension cables st cables so this is the nearly we can use up to 33 kv okay so st cables and further sometimes we can use the eht cables eht extra high tension cables where these cables can be used up to the 66 kv voltage and further you can use the est cable extra super tension cable where we can use the voltage 132 kv so these are the classification of cables cables are classified based on the voltages lt voltage lt cables up to 1000 volts ht cables 1000 volts to 11 kv and super tension cables up to we can use the above 11 kv to 33 kv and ehd cables extra high tension cables up to we can use the 66 cable and whereas the est cables we can use up to the 130 kv or above so these are the classification based on the cables okay so first first we have seen cables are classified based on the number of conductors and based on the voltage now further classification of cables now what are the that cables let us see so classification of the cables further based on the applications the lead sheathing applications we can say sheathing we can lead sheathed lead sheathing application application oriented okay whether we are going to use this sheathing so based on this one it is classified into so further four types so these are the eht purpose generally used so lht cables so one one is a belted cable belted cable based on the this uh, sheathing how we are going to use the sheath whether it's a uh, separate or by the combined okay so let us see that also and we can use the h type cables h type cable so here the h means so here is a one scientist name okay so h type means the scientist name so based on the scientist we are going to use this type of the cables okay so his name is a uh, m hodge stodder is the scientist name m hodge stodder is the name of the scientist name and another is a sl type cable s l type cable another is the sl and hsl type h sl type cables okay so these are the cables we are going to draw in our drawing okay 
so these are the lead sheathed cables generally okay next on the sheathing one is a belted cables another is the the scientist name that is the hem hot stutter cables another is the sl cable s means separate lead sheathed cable and hsl type is a high voltage uh, separate lead sheathed type of the cables so these are the different of the cables we are going to draw in this class okay so based on this uh, applications we classified this four type of the cables now lastly the cables further classified into uh, different factors what are the factors based on the main factor that is electrical point of view that is the the dielectric stress strength the dielectric strength of the cables okay so the conductor to conductor in between dielectric media so what is the dielectric stress between the cables so this is further classified into dielectric stress stress here so whether you are going to use a dielectric media whether the solid type solid type that means the impregnate paper some paper and different the insulating materials and suppose i can use a oil filled cables oil also liquid filled cables oil filled cables and sometimes i can use the the external oil pressure cables also i can use for we'll use up from external source so external oil pressure we are going to produce the the dielectric stress between the conductors and sometimes i can use the a gas pressure also gas filled cable gas pressure cable so that means i can use the dielectric media as solid liquid and gas in between the conductors so this is the classification of the cables dear students so what are the different of the classification the classifications of the cables based on different factors one is the based on the number of conductors one is the single core cable and two core cables three core cables and four core cables and based on the voltage lt cables ht cables st cables eht cables est cables based on the lead sheet application that is based on the belted cables h type cables sl type cables and hsl type cables based on the dielectric media whether you are going to use the solid type oil filled and external oil pressure filled and gas pressure filled cables these are the classification of the cables okay so dear students you can see so this is a classification based on the voltages okay low tension cables and high tension cables already we have seen super tension cables extra high tension cables and extra super tension cables now let us see what are the different layers present in a cable okay so now we are going to enter our cables you can see here so what are the main cable consist so it consists of the conductor here the conductor is consist of the conductor the conductors generally made up of aluminum or copper okay old in days they are used and sometimes lead also copper and pb lead cables also they will used nowadays we are only popular aluminum and copper conductors and some special conductors are silver conductors and uh, some in joint purpose jointing in fuses okay so different platinum are used but in case of the conductors so we are going to popularly we are using the copper or aluminum conductors as a current carrying things next so another over which 
each conductor so covered with a paper insulation sometimes we are going to use the impregnated paper also so paper having the some dielectric media if it is impregnated then it is the strength increases and the temperature with the stoning also increases class a to uh, class b we are going to increase okay now there is a, we are using the paper insulation generally these insulations common insulations are already we have seen impregnated papers and varnishes and cambric or rubber mineral compound materials generally used as a insulations you can see this is also one type of the insulation this is also paper type insulation now over which another layer so we are going to use it is a lead sheet the lead is a pb sheet so this is the material so that a metallic sheet whether a copper sheet or lead sheet or aluminum sheet the lead sheet metallic sheet are used to protect the entering of moisture acids alkalis and gases from the soil or atmosphere it is exposed to the overhead lines so sometimes where we are going to cables are not buried in the ground it is exposed to the atmospheric conditions there is a possibility to entering the gases suppose it is buried in a ground there is a possibility to entering of the moisture and some acids due to the area chemical factors alkalis and the gases so this can be avoided with the help of the, the lead sheet material so lead sheet is used to protect from entering of the cable from moisture's acids alkalis and gases in the soil or atmosphere x the metal sheets are generally used as a lead sheet and aluminum sheet okay sometimes copper also uses and over which another layer is a bedding just like the bedding material the cushioning material a layer of bedding is placed over the metallic sheet of a cable to protect from the corrosion okay so why the corrosion is takes place because over the bedding we are going to use the, the armoring so armoring is a the galvanized steel wires so hence so to cushioning purpose we are going to use a bed so what is a bedding a layer of bedding is placed over the metallic sheet of the cable to protect from the corrosion so which is this a metal sheet so bedding is done with a, a fibrous materials so cushioning materials like is a jute material and scn tape or one type of the the flexible tape scn tape materials the owned on a the lead sheet material then it becomes the bedding so bedding over the lead sheet at the same time it support to the the armoring materials okay so this is bedding now coming to the armoring this is a very very important for the the large capacity cables over the bedding the armoring is provided which consists of one or two layers of galvanized steel wires or steel tape to protect from the a mechanical injuries from the outside at the same time it increases the mechanical strength to the cable also okay so this you can see the galvanized strips so just we have seen in starting there is a one cable it's a gi strips okay so one or two layers based on the protection is required okay this is known as a armoring and you can see the another layer here you can see the another layer that is the serving so what is the serving the cable to be protected from the atmospheric conditions so because it is exposed to the all atmospheric conditions the gases etc etc so that purpose where a servicing is required service wire nothing but you can observe the service wire this is a black 
coated on a inside two cables the red color and green color you can observe the, your service wire from the PSS pole to your house. So, conductor is aluminum over which there is a insulating the green and red, green and red colors and over which the black service wire. So, it is exposed to the atmospheric conduction, conditions. So, this servicing serving is a, the cable of to be protected from the atmospheric conditions at the a layer of fibrous materials like jute provided over the armoring because armoring in the two sides the inner side we are using the bedding the outer side this serving the serving act as a it will protect the atmospheric conditions as well as the cushioning to the this um, what what do you call so galvanized strips at the same time it is also uh, avoid entering of the any chemicals into the cables okay so we are only in cable we are seeing the arm uh, the, the serving cable only this is a serving okay so these are the different parts of a cable okay how to do this cable we will see in the next class okay dear students you can see it what are the different cables okay you can see physically also now we can see the physical cables so what is this one this is a conductor okay this is a conductor you can see this is a conductor and here is a we provided xlpe xlpe in the indicates that cross linked polyethylene cross linked polyethylene some type of the insulating material okay so this is used over the conductor next we are going to use uh, another insulating media and here you can use some um, some sheath material the conductor tape copper sheath here used and here is the another alloy of sheath and here is we can use the polyethylene or pvc insulating material and that is act as a bedding now we can see the galvanized steel the metal wiring armoring is used and over which this is a service wire okay so here you can see that the size of the conductor and this size body of this one so this person is this much but is the uh, dresses is uh, sometimes this address but just like buffoon to protect from outside okay so these are the practical cables now you can see so this is the another cable same cable if you are seeing this cable from here you are going to see that so the cable is a plan and from here seeing this one you are going to the elevation so how the conductors is made with this one and so this conductors and overage insulation 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 so this is a plan this is a elevation your aim is to draw this both okay so this is the cable generally used in our electrical field now you can see this is a one simple cable dear students so here what is the what is the core 1 2 3 4 four curve cable this one okay so you can see the r face y face a b face and neutral n four curve cable now over which there is a insulation you can see cross linked polyethylene insulation material you can see that is the insulation generally you can observe and over which there is a pillars are used that is a bedding tape sheet material bedding okay over which there is a another pvc inner sheath here is a used and over which you can see the steel wire armors the strips the mechanical protections over which another bedding tape cushioning material here used and over which as a sheath or servicing that's a pvc outer sheet for you can see dear students for this small conductors we required 
this type of the protections okay that similarly so small minister to protect him so he required the security different of the security is required one day before they will clear all peoples uh, the security area they will take control all things similarly for this current direction for the current intended to flow in this conductor so we require the this layer this layer this layer this layer this layer this layer is required otherwise the cable may be punctured very difficult to find the fault in the cables but latest day latest we are going to use the uh, one uh, fault detectors electronic media we can detect the way the fault occurred in the cable but it is very difficult to join the cable as compared to the oral lines okay so these are the basic idea of the cables dear students let us stop in this year so how what is the cable in this class we have learned that what is the meaning of the cable okay so what is a cable is a device which can transmit the energy from one side to the another side without heating any problem the power can be transmitted or distributed either over lines or underground cables the underground cables are very effective and it has the advantages more advantages as compared to the disadvantages and the cables are classified based on the different factors based on the number of conductors based on the voltages based on the applications and based on the dielectric media used at the same time the one common cable used how the, it what are the different layers consist it consists of the conductors it consists of the paper insulation over which there is a lead sheet over which there is a bedding over which there is a armoring and over which servicing what are the different layers purposes and what are the materials generally used in cables we have seen okay so let us draw these cables in next class our drawing as per our drawing we are going to draw it so here elevation and um plan okay so if time permits we let us draw one okay no problem we'll see in the next class thank you for listening my class dear students